Hey everyone, it's Tristan here from Kesara Sara, and today I'm gonna have a little fun. I'm gonna pair some fried chicken with a bunch of wine. We got four wines on deck, and today I'm gonna pair them with KFC's new fried chicken sandwich. So for everyone that is new here, which is gonna be everyone since this is my first video, my name's Tristan, as I said before, and Kesara Sara is dedicated to boutique wine. I want to support boutique wineries, small production boutique wine, and introduce people to all this beautiful wine that is being made all over the world. I live in California, more specifically the Bay Area, and I'm starting from here. Follow me on this journey to discover all this delicious wine that we have in this world. Today, I'm starting with something fun, something that we can get every day, fried chicken, more specifically fast food. You can have wine with fast food. There's so much delicious things to discover. So what I've done is I've chosen four wines. These wines are generally very popular combinations with fried chicken. Now one is a French sparkling wine. I have an Italian Prosecco, a Washington State Riesling, and a Californian Sauvignon Blanc. You're gonna notice that these are all white wines. And you're gonna ask, well, dude, why don't you choose any red wines? Well, here's the thing. There are some delicious red wines that would pair well with fried chicken, but they're not as common as white wine. And it's mainly because with fried chicken, you have a lot of salt and you have a lot of fat. It's fried chicken. In order to break that down and have a good pairing, what you're gonna want is you're gonna want a lot of acid, clean, crisp, refreshing wine that has acid. It helps break down all that fat and salt that's gonna be on your palate when you are, uh, when you're eating. So, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm going with stuff that is very commonly paired with fried chicken. Don't get me wrong, you can find a Grenache, a Chianti, a Lombrusco, or even a Tempranillo that would pair well with this. All right, and so why are we here? This. KFC has finally come out with their fried chicken sandwich. I don't know what took them so long. The OG of fried chicken, the kernel with 11 herbs and spices, is playing catch up with Chick-fil-A and Popeyes and everyone else. Well, thankfully they just, it just came out. Let's see how it is. Now that's a hunk of meat. Dang, kernel, you're not messing around. Look at that. Well, the first wine that we have is a French sparkling wine, a Blanc de Blanc. What does that mean? It just means it's made from white grapes, most likely Chardonnay. It's a Brut, so it's dry, and it's French. Let's give it a go. Oh wow. See, this is why champagne. The effervescence of the bubbles, just that acid, just wiped away all that fat and salt that was on my tongue. All right, sparkling wine, solid first pick. So next, Prosecco. This Prosecco really makes the herbs and spices from the chicken really pop out, more so than the sparkling wine. That's, that's pretty cool, pretty cool difference. All right, Prosecco, I see you. Cheers. Now on to the Riesling. This glass is probably best for a red wine, but for simplicity and because I don't want to do dishes right now, we're going to go with this class for the next two wines. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm testing more of the fats from the fried chicken and the sauce and the bread with this one. This competition is tough. Okay, so this next wine, it is a Sauvignon Blanc from Paquetti Winery in Cupertino, California. They're a winery located in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Um, they, their Sauvignon Blanc is just delicious. And I know Sauvignon Blanc is known to pair well with fried chicken, so I'm bringing them to the competition. All right. I think with this one, I'm picking up more of what's in the food with the wine. So that wine is really bringing the, the, the bun, the pickle, and the sauce together. Not picking up much of the chicken, but um, what is really lovely about KFC and fried chicken in general, in general is you get that crunch, which adds that texture. Um, yeah, this is delicious. This, this really is delicious. Don't know how it's gonna compete with everyone else, but wow. All right, so now it's time to pick my favorite. After having all four wines and the sandwich, I'll break it down. The sparkling wine was delicious. It, it was clean with the chicken, the bubbles, the effervescence helped clean the palate. Overall, each bite was fresh. The, re the Riesling, it highlighted the fat in the sandwich. The Prosecco was clean, tasted the chicken, really really focused on the chicken actually. And the Sauvignon Blanc, that was my favorite. Um, it brought the pickles, the bun, the sauce, and the chicken was just clean and smooth throughout. Um, you know, frankly, I do like the wine by itself, but I think with with this sandwich, it, it it's the winner. It's it's the best uh, of the four of this. Try a Sauvignon Blanc, and may and if you can try the Piketty Sauvignon Blanc for if, for some fried chicken. Um, you know we got Valentine's Day coming up. You know you can't go out because of the pandemic. Take it in, take it easy, stay in, have a guilty pleasure. Get a bucket of fried chicken or, or make some fried chicken and have and have a nice wine. Maybe you splurge and get that nice bottle of champagne. So, there you have it. The fried chicken sandwich competition is in the books. And the Piquetti Sauvignon Blanc was my favorite. So the boutique wine won. What does that mean? Well, in general, I think it was just superior wine. You know, smelled great, tasted great. Um, by itself, I would love to have it. And I think the fried chicken just paired well, but also when you have a good wine going in, a quality wine going in, pairing it with, with food, it's gonna be a winning combination. And so that's just something to keep in mind when we're, when we're trying out new wines and exploring new wines is, let's try out these smaller production wines because there's more TLC put into making the, the wines. Uh, mass produced wines that you're gonna generally see more in the grocery store, they kind of make a consistent product every year. And um, there's some quality that I believe is lost. So cheers to this wine, cheers to the winemakers. And it just means that there's more boutique wine that we need to explore and we need to pair with and see how well the wine elevates other foods. Well, that wraps up this video. I'll be sharing more in the details of uh, where you can get this wine from Vine the Winery's website. They do ship in California. So if anyone is, in, is interested, go ahead and get a bottle or a few. If you have any ideas, any suggestions of any other food and wine pairings you'd like me to try out with Boutique Wine, leave uh, some comments below. And I look forward to making more videos. This is one of many to come. Take care, everyone.